This is Alpha. I'll start trying to identify. Move to Sector Bravo and respond. I'm here at IDEX 2019 with Oleg Vornik, CEO of Drone Shield. So the threat from UAVs has become a very relevant topic over the past few years. Could you describe your company's approach to counter UAV technology, please? Thank you, Oscar. So Drone Shield has been providing integrated platform, as you see behind us, that does a combination of different detection sensors, such as radio frequency direction finders, radars, cameras, and so forth, and also portable systems like our drone gun that we are most well known for, as well as now drone node, which is a briefcase style jammer. So effectively we provide a suite of different systems for different situations where you need to deal with UAVs, uh, used for nefarious purposes. Think of Gatwick disruption or even Dubai airport disruption in the last couple of days or even military applications where drones are or UAVs are used for conducting terror, carrying dangerous payloads or uh, battlefield reconnaissance. And um, could you talk a bit about the advantages of soft kill with equipment which is the main product that your company promotes compared to say hard kill? Absolutely. There are a number of advantages that soft kill has over hard kill. That includes low collateral damage, so you're not firing bullets or lasers that can impact objects behind the drones, of course. You can also equally defeat a swarm of drones as a single drone, so uh, a disruptor would be effective across an area, uh, can defeat any number of drones within that area. And also, our disruptors are effective against a wide range of drones uh, as opposed to a particular target. So we think uh, due to the effectiveness and also due to low collateral damage, uh, soft kill represents an attractive option. And. Um you're displaying several products here today. Could you uh, tell us a bit about them, please? Yes, of course. So right behind us is on a mast our drone sentry, as we call it, which is a combination of radio frequency, radar, and what we call drone cannon, which is a fixed side disruptor. And you can see on a screen, if you're a user of the system, almost like Google Maps type interface, which has drones floating around where, uh, dots floating around where drones are, and you can also locate the pilot using the system as well. Also, we have our more portable products, so we have drone gun, uh, rifle shaped uh, disruptor, and also drone node, which is a briefcase style disruptor for public gathering type of events where you don't necessarily want to have a gun shaped object being carried around. So uh, you're displaying drone sentry, which is uh, the first time you've displayed this at a show. Could you tell us a bit more about the system, please? That's right. Thank you, Oscar. So Drone Sentry provides multi-sensor detection and defeat, which is quite unique in the sense that there are a lot of systems out there that contain only one type of sensor, or it's also systems which carry very short ranges. Drone Sentry provides a very far-ranging, up to five kilometer integrated detect and defeat, which is a very unique point to the system. It also gives you a very low false alarm. Uh, it gives you uh, ability to draw a line of bearing to the drone. So a little bit of a technical uh, kind of concept, but uh, very high-end uh, radio frequency based detection combined with numerous other sensors. We've also been working very hard on the front end and the back end of the system, effectively providing an intuitive approach to the customer how to set up and use the system. Uh, so the products you're seeing here have been deployed uh, at various stages right through the Middle East. Uh, so we've done our first large sale in the middle of last year to a Middle, e Middle Eastern Ministry of Defense. And today we're conducting trials in about half a dozen Middle Eastern countries that we're quite proud of.